Chinese Foreign Minister Yang Jiechi reinforced China's position on the Diaoyu Islands while attending the UN General Assembly in New York. At his general debate speech, Yang told world leaders that recent moves taken by Japan, including the purchase of the islands, are illegal and invalid. By taking such unilateral actions as the so-called island purchase, the Japanese government has grossly violated China's sovereignty. This is an outright denial of the outcomes of the victory of the world anti-fascist war and poses a grave challenge to the post-war international order and the purposes and principles of the Charter of the United Nations. The moves taken by Japan are totally illegal and invalid. They can in no way change the historical fact that Japan stole Diaoyudao and its affiliated islands from China and the fact that China has territorial sovereignty over them. Yang, leading China's delegation at the UN General Assembly, spoke Thursday a day after a speech in which the Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda didn't mention the Diaoyu Islands. Noda later told reporters, however, that Japan sees no compromise in its dispute with China. The relationship between the two Asian powers is at its lowest point since they established diplomatic ties 40 years ago. Tension has escalated since the Japanese government in early September announced the purchase of the islands from its so-called private owner. Protests have broken out in cities across China and Chinese communities abroad, and even outside the UN headquarters on Wednesday, just before Prime Minister Noda's speech. The Chinese government issued a white paper in which it reasserts sovereignty over the islands and denounces the Japanese attempt to challenge the post-war international order. Yang said Beijing will continue to take firm measures to safeguard Diaoyu's territorial sovereignty. The Chinese government is firm in upholding China's territorial sovereignty. China strongly urges Japan to immediately stop all activities that violate China's territorial sovereignty, take concrete actions to correct its mistakes, and return to the track of resolving the dispute through negotiation. Yu Weijiang, China Daily, United Nations.